Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest tonight is a very funny comedian whose new special is called Happy to Be Here. We're happy to have her. Please welcome Tig Nataro. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, I always mean to tell you this when I come here, but uh, this theater has such a great vibe. It's like, uh, I know. It's... Well, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. No, yeah. thank you. It's like a room full of pleasant subspace particles wrapped in a tachyon uh, field of good vibes. Um, That's, um, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I have no idea what I'm saying on that show. And I but can't... The people may not know this. You are actually oh, now yeah, a cast no, yeah, member of yeah. the new season all of, of aside. Star Trek Discovery. Yes, yes, all joking aside. I am... I love... There's nothing I love more when I hear a comedian say, all joking aside. Then I go, now it's going to get good. No, I say that before I say anything. <laughs> I'm that kind of comedian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of times people have a hard time recognizing my comedy, and that's fine. How did you, how did, were you always a Star Trek fan? How did one get a part? Because I'm jealous. I would love to be on Star Trek. How well, you did should you... come with me. But I have, a, I have, a... I'll do it. <laughs> no, but I've got, I've got this gig. How did you get this gig? Were you always a fan? Um, well, you don't just get gigs because you're a fan. Um, well, how about, yeah. Everyone's like, oh, she's a fan. Let's give her a ring-a-dink. <laughs> But you might, you might try for the gig if you're a particular no, fan. No, I didn't try. I just, um, they just asked if I wanted to do it. No. They thought you'd fit into the Star Trek universe. Are you a human? I, I am a human, yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm, a, I'm a commander. Oh, what's yeah. your, what's your, what's, what's commander? Jet Reno. And I actually got to name myself because I was like, oh, there's like jets and stuff. <laughs> Is that in honor of Janet Reno? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> You're lying. I am. I, I'm I am lying. All You're joking aside. If you if you if you have trouble saying that little monologue you just did where you didn't understand anything you were saying, do you, how do you learn the lines? Because it's all that, right? I don't. I mean, it is so embarrassing. I I'll just I have no. There's no. I can't even picture what I'm talking about. You know, it, it, when I'm learning lines in other shows or movies or something, I can kind of visualize what I'm talking about. On Star Trek, I'm just like, okay, I have to just remember these words. It's just sound jazz. Yeah, it's... Mouth <laughs> jazz with yeah. Tig Notaro yeah. in space. Yeah. I was... Do you have a cool outfit or anything? With well, like yeah. A or anything yeah, like that? it's a Star Trek uniform, so it's, it's cool. Um, I was just in Mississippi visiting my cousin, and, um, and I told him I was on Star Trek this new season, and he was like, oh, wow, Tig, you know you've made it when you're in outer space. <laughs> See, that's, I, feel, I feel the same way, though. Because I'm a science fiction junkie, I totally feel the same way. I would really, if we could do our show, could we do our show from space? <laughs> no? Yeah. Call Richard, call Elon Musk. <laughs> well, you also, you just wrote a movie with your wife Stephanie about a female president yep. who is played by Jennifer Aniston That's in correct. this. And you are the first lady yes. in that. You're the Flotus in it. I am. Did I you am. model yourself on anyone? Like, is it uh, Michelle or Melania or Bill or. <laughs> Is there, is there anyone? Bill was never the first lady. No, but um, he was going to be the first ladies' man if he ever got in. That was, <laughs> that was or the first first gent or something like that. That was the idea. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm doing my own thing. Uh, and you know what? Speaking of Bill, and then not to speak about Bill, mm -hmm. I just want to say about Monica Lewinsky. Okay. Um, I know her not well, but I want to remind people that to get a job at a young age as an intern in the White House, you have to be an exceptional human being. And she is. And I just want to remind people of that. That's nice. That's all I want to say. That's nice. And I want to get back to my friend Jen Aniston. OK, so Jen. Jen, um, also yeah. an exceptional she's person. She's going to be the president of the United States. And I... So she's a friend? Did you write this with her in mind? Um, she is a friend. Um, <laughs> I have to say that on national television. She's absolutely a friend. Very good friend. Um, we text. Oh, actually. you do? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, that's that's a sure sign. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, either she... a friend or your drug dealer. <laughs> I um I was actually surprised because she's such a kind of chill person, and uh, her texts are like big rainbows and sparkles and bang bang pops and. You know, the balloons dropping. Yeah, the things and all like that. that. Yeah. I was like, whoa, didn't see this coming. Yes. The text you would get from your mother. Yeah, if yeah. she were alive. Well, that's all we have time for, Tig. <laughs> okay, you got an upcoming movie. You got the you got you got the uh, you got the, the special uh -huh. uh, on Netflix. Uh, happy to be here. Happy to be here. Are you happy to be here? I'm thrilled. Because you play your happy cards pretty close to your chest. Yeah, I do. Yeah? Uh-huh. Oh, you smiled. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I am. It's, um, you know what, my special, Happy to Be Here, I see it as like the third piece to a trilogy. I had an album called Live that mm -hmm. um, I put out when I had yes. cancer. Yes. I had a follow-up album called uh, Boyish Girl Interrupted, where I was kind of crawling out of everything that I was going through. Mm -hmm. And then this special is um, just my personal joy of uh, happy to be on this planet and um, happy to be doing comedy and and I am I am a happy person. Good, good. <laughs> happy to be here is on Netflix now. Tignataro, everybody. We'll be